Hello, Ian here. And today I'm going to show you my Magic Card deck, my blue and black one. I constructed it myself. So, first, can you, okay, yeah. So here we have Stormtide Leviathan. It is a uh, really more of an endgame creature. The 8-8 eight, eight huge creature costs 8 to bring out. Island, island walk, all lands are islands in addition to the other types, and the creatures that flying or, or island walk can attack, so that's pretty devastating. Next we have Fairy Invaders, the two of them. And this card is really nice. It costs five to get out. It's it's a three three with flash and flying, so it can bring it, you can play it and can you can play an instant. And so you could just come out as a surprise blocker and then take this guy on defense. I mean offense. Fail. Oh. Of course, I've added my planes for for Jace memory adept. He's really good. You can give him one. One trust counter, and you can draw a card. Target player puts the top card of the library in the graveyard. Play zero. Target player top ten cards of the library in the graveyard on minus seven. And, in, and any number of target players each draws twenty cards. <gasps> that is really devastating. If you wanna put all of their cards from their deck into the graveyard, and we have Royal Assassin. Which is nice, you can tap him. He's only 1 1, costs 3 to get out. You can tap him to destroy any tapped creature. Use him in combination with Icy Manipulator, which I'll see you later, and I have 3 of those. Yeah. Carrion Ants. It's a 0 1, costs 4 to get, get out, and you can pay 1, and he gets plus 1 plus 1 to the end of turn, so that's nice. By Regzian Walker, got two of those. It costs nothing to get out, but it's a zero three. It's got no effect, so that's a nice one turn one blocker. Ghost Ship, I have two of these. It's a good blocker. Uh, it's got flying. It's a two two four, and you can pay three items and regenerate them, so that's nice. This card, this is personally one of my favorite cards. This is Smiley Starfish. Damn it. And you can, he's 0-1, he costs 3 to get out. You can pay an island to regenerate him. And at the end of any turn in which he's generated, I get basically a copy of him, except without the effect. So that's nice. Get an army of blockers out. I mean, you know, unless they got trample. Oh, that would suck. And you have horseshoe crab, which is nice. So you can pay an island. <laughs> So you can attack with them and then pay an island to untap him, so that's nice. Another one of my favorite cards, Prodigal Sorcerer, three of those. Uh, three of the out, he's a 1-1, one, one. you can pay one. Or, yeah, don't pay anything, you just tap him and he deals one damage to our creature or player. Whoever gets their Prodigal out first wins. Ornithopter, 0-2 with, fl with flying, cause nothing to get out. So you know that's always nice to have. Another one, great one turn card. Yep. Rixel, the 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 risen deep, the legendary five eight, good blocker. Island walk and swamp walk, so that's good. And whenever he deals uh, damage to a player, that player I can cast an instant or sorcery card from that player's graveyard without paying his mana cost. That card would be put into the graveyard as exile instead. Ball grace got two of them. Two of the cards. It's just three through a swamp, swamp walk, plus 40 out. It's not bad. Nemesis of Reason. It's nice. The 3 7, so it's certainly a blocker. On every attacks, the defending player puts the top 10 cards of their library in their graveyard, so that's nice. Words describing it fail, pages relating it shrivel, tales so recounting it end. It's terrifying. We got. Another one of my favorites, Yoshin Soldier. Vigilance. Uh, so he doesn't tap. 
is a 1 4, so it's blocked when he only costs 3. It's nice. Current blocker, 1 turn blocker. Kraken Hatchling. Which you can, oops. Kraken Hatchling, 0 4, no effect, 1 to get out. It's a big creature for only one one turn. My all time favorite card, I don't know why. It just, just is. Alternate Art 2. Vampire Bat. Huh. Here's the first little look at the older one, and it's the flying. You pay one, and he gets. You know, it may only spend two, but he gets plus one plus zero, so that's nice. One turner. And then here's an alternate. A different art for it, Alt an alternate art for it, so that's cool. Got four of those guys. And then there's the killer whale. That card's nice. Big, the big, he gains flying. He's a th three five, so he's a pretty big creature. And then, I don't know why I have this card in the deck and just do. Sukata Assassin. The 1-1 one, one gives poison counters and only be blocked by artifact creatures and black creatures. And I like this card. Phantom Warrior. Costs 3, yeah, he's a 2-2 two, two, and he's unblockable, so that's a nice card. And we have ourselves, damn it, Sky Eel School. And uh, flying, when he enters the battlefield, you draw a card and then discard a card. It's a 3-3, three, three, three. I mean 5, that's not exactly worth it, but whatever. I like him, he's a good guy in Mirrodin. My lands, that's cool, I got, got snow covered. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. Just land, land, land. Snow covered swamp. Gaseous form. And uh, gaseous form. Target creature neither deals nor receives combat damage. Uh, invincible blocker if you enchant the flyer. Ice manipulator. Use this in co combination with a royal assassin. And it's um, quite devastating, really. You can kill anything with it. With that combo. Dark Ritual. Three swamps. Team Ramapool. This is a big deck. It doesn't have that much land. That's the only reason this card's in the deck. Toil. Night and day. This also fits in with helping the Icy Manipulator. This helps the... This reinforces the Icy Manipulator and uh, Royal Assassin. Tap or untap two target permanents. That's, that's nice. Troll magic. Four to get out. Gain control of target creature. It's very simple, but very good. Very good. More modern people use mind control. Or, you know, whatever. Mine's kind of better because it costs less. But then we got breaking wave. More folk in that wave. Gonna kill some Phyrexians. Anyway. Uh, you may play them anytime. You can play an instant if you pay two more. To play uh, simultaneously, untap all tap creatures and tap all untap creatures. Can't believe I got that right. Two of, it, two of them. We have two unsummons. Turn target creature to its owner's hand. <laughs> One to get out, so it's good. And then, kind of a. And then we have undo. Return two target creatures to the owner's hand. It costs three and it's a sorcery. Sorcery, sounds nice. This, love this card. Two of them. Unholy strength, one to get out, and plus two, plus one. Sounds pretty good. Got two of them. Got flood, four of these. This is a good card. It costs one get out, and you can pay two and tap target creature without flying. So, uh, also helps reinforce the royal assassin. I see my your deck. And we have Twiddle, the final reinforcer. It's an instant only cost one. Tap around tap target artifact creature land. Reinforces the a Royal Assassination Manipulator effect. Or whatever. 
four of those, and I'm Ian, and I'll see you later. Hope you liked my deck.